Hey developers, so is Vue.js all hype? Let's talk about it. Hey, so before we begin, let me just remind you guys that Udemy is having a $10 sale. If you click the links below in the description, I listed three really awesome courses that you guys can take, so check it out. If you click on any of them, I do get a little bit of affiliate income, so thank you very much. And also let you know, my Vue.js in action book is in pre-order status. You can get it from Manning. I've included a link below and actually I have a link to my mailing list. If you sign up for that, I will give you all the information about my Vue.js in action book. So let's talk about this. So just recently, Chris Hawks created a video where he went through several websites to find out, uh, I guess to, to see what the hype is all about Vue.js. So he was making the argument that Vue.js is kind of this brand new uh, framework out there and that a lot of lemmings, a lot of people are just jumping on the bandwagon. And he wanted to try to find out how many sites actually were using it. He heard about Alibaba, he heard about GitLabs. So he started going to these websites and he found a lot of the websites that claimed that they were on Vue or using Vue actually weren't using Vue. And uh, I actually left a comment on that YouTube video. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to see it, where I mentioned to him that that uh, a lot of these websites that are using Vue don't necessarily use it for their front page. Like Alibaba has hundreds of different websites and some of their mobile sites are using Vue. In fact, China overall is using, a lot of people in China are using Vue, Vue.js. In fact, uh, Tencent, Weibo, a lot are. And so it's, it's really, really popular over there. And it's definitely really popular over here. It's gaining a lot of momentum all over the world. And so I kind of, I posted that saying, you know, just let you know that some of the websites that you looked at, they're actually, they do use Vue. They just don't use it for the front page. So, and then it kind of sparked controversy in the comment section where some people came out to say, well, you know, I like Vue.js, but I think React is better. And then people are just saying, even my buddy Joe from Coding Phase was saying, well, you know, React, Vue.js is just a, a copy of Angular um, and it's a bad copy at that. And, you know, this it's a lot of controversy here. And of course, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think that's true. Vue.js definitely has its own merits beyond other libraries and frameworks like React and, and Angular. It has a it has a long history. So I thought I would talk a little bit about, uh, I would go over some of the slides that Evan Yu had in his state of view address that he did last month in Poland to kind of gauge of like where the hype is for Vue and why I think it's really an awesome library and has a lot of potential and it has a lot of momentum going behind it. And that's not to say that React is bad or that Angular is bad or EmberJS is bad. I'm just saying right now we're seeing a lot of stuff happening in the Vue world. And it's worth, if you're a web developer, it's worth just kind of taking a look at it and seeing, wow, that's neat. If you're a new web developer, I mean, this is an awesome, awesome uh, library to start at. It's just really, really easy to ramp up and get started and create apps using it. So you can see from here, I have in the background, well, maybe the presentation will work. You can see here the origination. So he talks a little about the first commit is in 2013. So I'm gonna just briefly talk about some of these slides. Evan Yu did a much better job. I'll link to his presentation in the description below if you wanna see it all. But he said that it wasn't even named Vue at the beginning, it was named Seed. And that uh, they changed it to, they renamed it to view here. You can see it from seed. And then it really got a lot of traction on Hacker News when it was first released, the public release, all the way back in 2014. So some people have only started hearing about Vue.js in the last, I don't know, six months, but it's really had a long history for quite a few years before it's gotten into the, you know, what everybody's talking about lately. And it talks about the different releases uh, one major part of Vue.js is the Laravel community. They really picked it up and ran with it, um, especially Vue 1.0. Uh, Vue 2.0 was a complete rewrite. They call it Evangelion, uh, Ghost in the Shell. So obviously they had the name of these releases that correspond to anime. So 
So that's the evolution, just a view layer library, but really it's not. They call it the progressive framework because it's really something you can use. You can just put it, you can start it off and have it just be, have it do something very simple for you, but you can kind of build upon it and use it in not, you can use it in many different applications and make it a fully functional application, um, even enterprise level, like, like we see with a lot of different companies. So you can see here, the different scales, client side routing, large scale state management, build system, client server data persistence. So today, I mean, this is one of the things where I, I don't think Vue is just hype. I mean, it's been out for many years now. It's I have a lot of evolutions from its initial release to 2.4, one just came out recently. So 57,380 GitHub stars, it's top 10 all, all time and it has the second most starred JavaScript framework. I mean, that is amazing. You can see that just by that alone, the momentum and people are really liking the framework uh, library, I should say. And then NPM, it has like, you know, 558,000 monthly NPM downloads. And that doesn't even include uh, the mirrors in China because what happens in China is that since they have the great firewall China, NPM is actually really, really slow. So there's all these mirrors of npm in china which aren't tracked by npm so we're not really sure how many people are downloading in china but we know by the major amount all these major corporations using in china that it has a lot of momentum over there and lots of active downloads from the weekly active users and here's kind of a quick snapshot of companies that are using it there's many many more i mean i just talk to a local company in Reno, Nevada that was using Vue.js. So it, it has a huge, a lot of, lot of companies using it. It's getting a lot of traction. And like I said, this one shows a lot of different Chinese, like Alibaba, Tencent, Baidu. He actually has a slide where he shows where Alibaba was using it, which was kind of funny. I, I mean, Chris Hawks thought, you know, they didn't were using it at all, but obviously he was wrong. So community, they have a pretty tons of uh, GitHub com contributions. Of course, it is open source. I think it's under the MIT license. And then they have a lot of different community projects, Nuxt, Quasar, Element. I mean, these are just a few of them. And then here, this is this is something something from Alibaba. It's more of their mobile site, but it shows kind of what. Actually, I think this is a Hacker News clone, but I think he mentioned at the same time during the slide that uh, Alibaba was using some of the the technology from Vue. Even React, uh, even it was said that Facebook was using like part, they had a third party company came in and wrote part of their, part of their website. I don't remember which part and they actually used Vue. And then more more of these uh, slides go into some of the things they're doing. Like they had, they have really great integration into VS Code. I mean, VS Code has been all over the place. If you're a web developer, you probably started hearing everyone talk about VS Code, and because uh, everybody's going to TypeScript and you can do auto completion, so people love that. They talk about Adi Osmani presenting Vue at Google I/O, which was another amazing milestone, just more people looking into it. And really one big push they mentioned at the conference was server-side rendering, SSR they call it, and they're using Webpack's code splitting to do it. And if you can go, I think it's ssr.viewjs.com, but you can actually see uh, like a demo of them doing it with Express. And the idea of course of behind server-side rendering is that and, and some frameworks like Ember.js has their server-side rendering, React does too, but it's, I mean, they're doing it really well in this case, much like the other frameworks and libraries out there. And so that's that's something that's interesting that's happening in, in, this, in this world. And the idea is there's this initial render problem that when you use a single side or, or a single page application, client side framework, that on the initial load, you're downloading all this JavaScript and there's ways of chunking it in so the server renders more quickly and your web page comes up more quickly and the JavaScript's downloaded in the background. It's, there's terms called like rehydration, things like that. 
So the, definitely the framework is becoming sophisticated and the libraries are becoming sophisticated enough, especially for Vue to, to handle these scenarios. And here's the guide, ssr.vuejs.org. And then 2.4 actually landed, I think today or yesterday. So lots of stuff are happening there. They have more performance gains, compile time optimization, um, the code splitting that they were talking about before. They're trying to put a better testing utilities together. They have an official unit testing. It's a work in progress right now. Uh, they have their own ESLint plugin and uh, view of CLI 3.0 is planned. And so that goes into thanking his friends and his wife and the Patreon supporters. If you don't know that Patreon, you can actually support on Patreon. You can see here, Patreon Vue.js. Evan Yu has his own uh, Patreon page and <laughs> he gets $10,000 a month. So this is basically what he does full time is just work on on view and you can support him if you join in on patreon which is kind of an interesting way of doing it i know a lot of a lot of these open source creators um, they usually have nine to fives and they're working on the weekends or their nights and weekends or if they're lucky enough they work for a company that really likes open source and so they can include that into the time that they work is on their open source projects but I mean, he's just like, I don't need any corporate backing. I'm just going to have a Patreon to support me. And it's working. I mean, it's definitely gaining a lot of traction. Like I said, it's the second most star JavaScript framework out there. So I guess to answer the question, is it all hype? I mean, absolutely not. I mean, we have, we have you know, major worldwide, huge corporations using Vue in their teams. We have a huge community of contributors and and it's growing like heck and the hype is there, but this is not an overnight success. This is something that's happened since 2014. And I, I see a very bright future view. And I think it's good in the way that we're having more choices in the, in the framework and library wars that we are seeing today. And it can be overwhelming for new developers coming in because there's so many choices but I, I think it's well worth having yet another good choice. I think that's the difference is we are seeing a lot of crappy choices, but it's good to see that we have some amazing good choices. We have Ember.js, we have React, we have Angular, we have Aurelia, we have Glimmer.js. I mean, we have all these great choices that that are gaining popularity and that's, that's good. I think that's, that's awesome. We don't all have to be React fans. So if you like this type of video, let me know what do you think about the framework wars and library wars. Do you, are you, do you think Vue.js will continue to be one of the most popular JavaScript libraries on GitHub? Or do you think this is just something that will slow down after a while? Let me know in the comments below. And like I said, click on that uh, mailing list link I have below and you can get my first chapter of my Vue.js in action book. Thanks.